The Giganontosaurus is considered one of the most powerful creatures in Ark survival evolved, and for the most part, it was largely considered a PvP mount, or a way to brag about your level of skill in the game. Until the release of Extinction and the subsequent releases of the Genesis DLC, the Giga has largely been utilised by the PvP side of the community for the majority of the game's release. Due to its high health pool and its Nash ability, which drains the target's health pool by 1% of its maximum health every 5 seconds, it's a creature you don't want to fight one on one with. However, since the release of Extinction, the Giga has been the best option to take on the game's final bosses. So at some point, a Giga is going to be relevant to you, whether you're a PvE player or a PvP one. These are the complete guides to the creatures of Ark and everything you need to know about taming them, their uses, and we're starting with the Beast King. A wild Giga is something you don't want to tamper with. Regardless of its level, all wild Gigas have a health pool of 80,000, and combine this with that Nash ability makes for one formidable opponent to face in the open world, so it's advisable to tackle it with ranged weapons or drag it out to sea to drown if you're seeking its heart. It is an apex creature so the heart is required as a trophy to enter the tech cave on the island map. When it comes to knocking out the Giga, the classic way is to construct a simple dinosaur gate trap. This combined with a large bear trap in the middle gives enough time for the player to get round the back and completely lock it in. More recently, I've learned of a better method for capturing a Giga, courtesy of tribe member Achilles. He showed me a trick he picked up from a YouTuber called the Johan Bandit and I'll leave a link to their full guide down below. But I've adopted this method myself due to how little it costs and how easy it is to build. To construct this trap, you will need six triangle metal foundations, six metal double door frames and six metal triangle shaped roofs. This trap is very light to carry and less expensive than five or six dinosaur gates and a bear trap. The trap itself is made of a hexagon with each triangle foundation spaced out by the length of two foundations. The thatch is used to temporarily make new snapping points of exactly two foundations apart so it can be picked up repeatedly to construct the shape of the hexagon. The beauty of this trap over the dino doors way is the Giga can walk over this from any angle and it will not be able to move. I've tested this trap several times now and in my opinion it's the definitive Giga trap to use. And it's my go to trap now. The major argument to consider when it comes to knocking out a Giga is should you use a long neck or a crossbow. And that largely depends on the quality of weapons and the number of resources at your disposal at the time. Shocking tranquilizer darts and biotoxin will definitely drop the creature quicker and just like any other creature is the most effective way. But it is advised that you bring at least three or four weapons with you as you'll likely need more than one, especially if you're using base engram weapons. Tranquilizer arrows won't do much damage to the creature's overall health and it will cost a lot less resources. If you have more time to tame it then it's also an option or a backup. The hardest thing about taking down a Giga is having enough tranquilizer and narcotic to keep it knocked out during a tame. In PvP, it's considered a siege engine, and it's one of the few land-based tameable dinosaurs capable of destroying stone structures. In PvE, it's generally a good creature to use for farming meat and hide, and a Giga will generally make short work of most things. A well-bred Giga can do more damage than any other creature in Ark Survival Evolved. The damage a Rex can do is dwarfed by what a Giga can do. On Extinction is a great creature to use to defend the orbital supply drops and will be needed to defeat the Titans. A great way to utilize the creatures before hitting level 96 and the point you're able to craft a saddle is to breed them for XP farming. Depending on how long your server hatch times are set to, as a Giga has one of the longest hatch times and requires the most time and effort to perfect out of all Ark's creatures, it may be viable to farm them. Even low level eggs from a rubbish pair of Gigas grant a significant amount of XP back both to the players and creatures they're riding. Just slaughtering 8 Giga eggs alone just boosted my levels by 1.5 which is a significant amount at this stage in the game over on the community server. These creatures can be used to great effect when it comes to clearing out the Wyvern Trench on Ragnarok as well. If on Scorched Earth, then Rock Golems can be used to the same effect, as helpful alternatives to turrets. 
basically setting the giggers to neutral and building a simple structure around them. You can simply drag the wyverns towards a pair of giggers and setting them up in this manner you'll be able to take on an alpha wyvern. It is a cheaper alternative to clearing the trench with turrets and using the ammunition or just simply leading the wyverns away from the trench for other players to deal with. It ensures more safety when hunting for eggs. When a Giganontosaurus enters the Enrage mode, its eyes glow a bright yellow. This makes it attack everything, including the riders themselves. And that's the Giganotosaurus. A big thank you to my patrons, as always, for helping me make this content. And don't forget to comment down below if there's a creature you would like me to do a short, complete guide on from how to tame and the different ways you can use them. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see ya.